G'day everyone. So I've been asked a lot about how we change templates, reports, layouts in Business Central. And uh, how does it all work together? Because it can be really super confusing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of the, um, the, the key areas that you can search in through Tell Me to find what you're looking through with reports. And then I'll tell you the way I do it. Like I have my thing I have my way and let's get started with a quick whiteboard session of what we're talking about here so you've got this report selection so for example for sales purchasing um, uh, bank accounts warehouse report selection so let's start on this section here and let's go take a look at what I'm talking about here so I'm gonna just very quickly type report selection and here I've got selection for sales purchasing warehouse inventory cash flow and effectively what this is doing if I select sales it's giving me a usage breakdown of all of the different areas and reports that are configured in the sales cycle for example quote 1304 I can see here that when it's used, we're going to use report ID 1304. So if I go to order, it's 1305. Okay, and I can change that. <coughs> I can look up every report in the system and just change the relationship here. Okay, um, I can go invoice. I can also see separately 1306 is the ID. But can I, I can see everything that's 1306 and I can choose one of them to be my email body for when we send an email. So it uses this setting here. I could technically say uh, 1306 like this. Use for attachment. There we go. So effectively, um, it allows us to turn around and select which report ID that's been triggered. Now, before you go out and you say, hey, I want to customize a red report. So it's the red invoice report. I want to know, well, which is the red invoice report that we're talking about here? So what is what triggers it? And it's the report ID 1306. So I can now say, you know, I know that's 1306. So cool. We've gone to the selection and I now know where we stand. So now let's go to report layouts and see what we're looking at there so in report layouts this is fairly like new logically and i just don't find this useful this here but i can search 1306 and see i have two standard templates in the systems that are built in based off uh, microsoft extension i could create a new layout i can um, replace layouts you can do certain things here I don't find this useful okay what I like to do is use the previous which is refer to report layout selection and then report layout selection it lays it out a little bit better so now I'm in a certain company I'm gonna go 1306 the sales invoice right now has the option to be RDLC which is the default out of the box and it can be a word template based on what we're doing here. And that's based out of the box. That's their standard base out of Microsoft. But if I wanted to customize that, all I have to do is hit custom layouts. And here appears a big list of layouts that have already been provided by Microsoft in their um, wisdom. They think it's great. I can create a new template from the word layout from Microsoft. 1306 and hit OK. And that's going to give me the built in, which this is a learn BC example. So I've got a brand new template here from what we've got. I can go to layout and export it. There we go. And I can open that export. And now I've got a template that I can edit. And to edit this, it's just a Word document. You can highlight stuff and make it pink, red, whatever, right? 
It's just a Word document. There's nothing really crazy to it, with exception to this. You need to turn on your Developer tab, and we turn on our Developer tab by going File, Options, and in Options, go to your ribbon, and scroll down, and this will be unticked. Just make sure it's ticked there. Hit OK. So now I've got a Developer tab. The XML mapping pane appears on the right, and I can select Dynamics Nav, and these are all the merge fields that are given to us in the glory of Microsoft for using in this particular document. So there's heaps of them and I'm not going to talk about how to create tables and loops and, and all the rest. We'll, we're repeating rows. We'll, we'll worry about that in another demo. Okay. But yes, you can turn around and edit it. And if you edited it, we have called it Learn BC example and I can go in here, up, import the layout. And once it's imported, you click update layout. So now I've got a Learn BC example. I can go back a screen and change this here in the report layout selection to a custom layout and select the Learn BC example. Just like that, I've been able to adjust my report for a particular layout. Now, in this one, I wanted the red invoice layout. So let's go do that. I'm going to change it to RDLC. And then I'm going to change it back to get the pop up. And I want the red, 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 red. Let's search red. Should have a red invoice. And now we've got a red invoice. So now I've selected that. If I go posted sales invoice, very simple. Posted sales invoice, pick up an invoice. Let's just print that, print, preview, it's the red template, just like that. So getting your templates out, that's that's one way you can do it, right? You can, you can just go into a custom layout. So I'm going to go custom layouts again, but now I want to create a different layout. I'm going to create a new, new RDLC layout. Let's take a look at what this is. So this is RDLC. We're going to call this Learn BC RDLC. Let's export that. Now, to get into that report, it's a different format and you need to download. And so in this video, I'm going to give you the Microsoft Report Builder address. You download this report builder and it gives you a report builder. And this is kind of like the good old days of Krista report writing. All right, let's go open this attachment so go back here hit my downloads and let's open that report and there we have it we have ourselves our rdlc report what's the difference between the two well word is very simple so the way that the report is merged out of Business Central. You get the ability to create XML, inject it into the word template, and then the template merges on creation. But RDLC, you can turn around and program things into that report file that you just can't do within Word. So complex reports, we will always say use an RDLC report. Complex reports are always the most expensive, and I recommend you talk to your partner where and when they can rebuild your reports, build them in Word, so you can go back and edit them easily. But if they're in RDLC, there's, it's highly inevitable, unless you've got a report writer on staff, you're going to want to turn around and have somebody that uh, you know has a big budget that can pay for that, because it's, it's, it's going to be expensive, like you know thousands of dollars a report instead of hundreds of dollars. And just in case you're wondering, RDLC stands for Report Definition Language Client Side. So originally it was created by the SQL Server team at Microsoft as a, not actually as a word generation output format, it just evolved into that. But it is the most comprehensive programmable reporting format from Microsoft. A lot of people ask me, when are they getting rid of it? Why do they use it? They won't get rid of it. It is the most powerful reporting tool 
for report writing of complex reports that Microsoft has available within Business Central. All right, well, that's the, the introduction to reporting with uh, Business Central. Just remember, um, you always got to think from the selection. So if you can't remember, just type selection in your search, and then it will break down into what report you're looking for. For example, sales 1305. Then have a look in report layouts, the 1305, what it is. Look at your layout selections. What's currently configured as the default report for it? Is it Word? Is it RDLC? And then turn around and customize your report and go to town. Thank you very much.